As we continue our workforce complaint series into the backlogs at the Texas Workforce Commission, we have uncovered a new problem for many unemployed Texans. Every year, thousands of Texans file what's known as wage claims with the TWC. Those claims are disputes between workers and employers over alleged unpaid wages. Sometimes those claims are wage theft meaning employees think they worked hours for which they weren't compensated. KXAN investigator Jody Barr found a rush of new claims is creating massive backlogs inside the TWC. So this would be a list of jobs yeah. for you? Mm -hmm. This is all the cars, one, two. Every morning they give me a production sheet. Look at this, all my cars, 16, 17, 18. Look at this, I got more on my home. Look. Maybe a hundred cars, maybe less, I don't know. Tony Delgadillo says he's owed around $17,000 in commission from his former employer for work he did at this body shop in Georgetown, a body shop now under new ownership. Yeah, I got a check, but not all the money. Delgadillo claims after he complained to his employer about the money owed to him, he was let go. I work in like three weeks and the second week, I asked for my money and this next day they fired me. He hired an attorney and a few weeks ago filed this wage complaint with the Texas Workforce Commission. He's now awaiting the results of the TWC investigation. Your wage claim has been received by the Labor Law Department. We have notified the employer and have requested a response. Fernando Cruz is also waiting on the state. He complained to the Texas Workforce Commission that same employer owes him pay. Return reason uh, F, frozen, blocked account. He also says his August 20th paycheck bounced. He says his former employer eventually made it good, but never paid him for his final week of work. I went through many different emotions, you know, from sad to angry to frustrated. I mean, you know, if I work for the money, I should be paid. I mean, that's, that's what's legal. Investigators in the TWC's Labor Department work to sort out whether employers stole wages or if there are simply misunderstandings between a worker and employer concerning pay agreements. The thing with the wage claim is they worked very hard for that money and for some reason didn't receive those funds and we need to get to the bottom of it. TWC Director Ed Cerna says in less than six months, Texans filed more than 3,000 wage claims since the pandemic hit in March. That's pacing ahead of last year when the state received 5,000 claims for all of 2019. The problem now is the time it takes the agency 60 investigators to finish investigations. Cruz's TWC response letter shows those investigations can take up to 120 days. Is there any way that you all as an agency, are you able right now to move these cases up to the forefront to maybe erase some of the backlog when it comes to these wage claims with everything else going on right now? We in fact are, as a matter of fact, I had a conversation with our um, division director earlier uh, about increasing staff. You know, he, he put some numbers out there and I said, uh, you, you, they'll just go big on this. Uh, and by big, I mean, let's, let's, let's hire more than what we need, what we think, what you think we need. Let's work the backlog down and then we can always let those contractors go as we manage the contract, uh, as we manage the workload. The agency's in talks now with two different contractors to hire additional investigators. Once the Workforce Commission makes an initial decision, the employee or employer can appeal up to two times, but that takes months. To appeal at the highest level, we found wait times reached eight months on average in 2019. I put in the work and uh, expected to get this money and still waiting for it. Both Fernando Cruz and Tony Delgadillo know they're not getting an answer anytime soon. You want your money back? Yes, I want my money because I work hard. I work like uh, three months. I wake up early, stay late. You can see all my paperwork, it's a lot of work. I mean, I need the money. I got family, I got bills. I contacted the men's former employer, Scott Starks, about their wage complaints. He says Tony Delgadillo was paid in full 
for all commissions. And he says he intends to settle up with Fernando Cruz. Georgetown Collision is under a new owner. That happened about a month ago. We reached out to that owner, but we got no response. As for those contract investigators, the TWC director told me that contract is supposed to be signed today. Jody Barr, KXAN Investigates. A lawyer for the men's former employer emailed a statement to KXAN this evening. We've included that in our story online. Also, you'll find information about filing wage complaints, and you'll see all of our in-depth investigative coverage of workforce complaints in one convenient location. Go to KXAN.com, click on the Investigations tab, and look for the Workforce Complaints page.